Did you know that you can paint your shower? I wanted to get rid of this ugly brown tile and brighten this bathroom. So we made over our entire bathroom with paint. Let me show you how we painted this shower tile. First thing you want to do is remove plumbing fixtures or tape around them. You will thank yourself later because the paint we're going to use is really hard to clean up. Then clean the tile like it has never been cleaned before. Now here's the secret to this project, the primer. You need to use a product called Insil X Stix Acrylic Waterborne Bonding Primer. I know it's a mouthful, but I've linked it for you below. If you want to paint bathroom tiles in a shower, you need to make sure you do all the proper prep in order for it to last. This stuff, this is the magic, y'all. Okay, so we're on day two of the bathroom makeover. We started on the tile in the shower. This is the primer that we um, put on just one coat. Although you can see the middle section where there were a lot more detail, it was different kind of rock there. And uh, it's much darker because that's what basically two coats is going to look like. So I'm going to set up and get going with the second coat of primer. We're basically trying to get as much done before we go on vacation so that everything can just sort of dry and set while we're gone. Um, and today's second coat is gonna go on pretty easily probably. It seems to be covering really well and it's already looking so much brighter in here which is really what I wanted so that's great. Um, also there's no smell to this like we just kind of shut the bathroom door and turned a fan on and you can't smell anything so um, thumbs up for this one. Let's get going. Styx primer is made specifically for adhering to challenging surfaces like glossy tile, PVC, plastic, glass, etc. It's made to bond to hard to coat surfaces, like your shower tile. Just adding the primer to the shower made a huge difference. It was so much brighter. Now we're ready to actually paint that shower tile. But before we started on the actual painting, we did go ahead and tape and use plastic to cover our newly refinished bathtub. You can check out my previous video, it's linked in the eye and down below to see how great it turned out. For the actual shower tile paint, you can pick whatever color you want. I chose white, but you really can do anything. But when picking paint, just make sure you go with a satin oil-based enamel. We used Bare Premium Oil-Based Satin Enamel from the Home Depot. Now I couldn't find it online to link for you, but you should be able to find it in store. It's made for indoor and outdoor use, it cures to a hard, durable finish, and it resists household chemicals. I was a thousand percent shocked with how great this looks. <laughs> I kept pulling up pictures on my phone and thinking, oh my God, this all used to be brown. It is so much brighter and I'm so happy with the bright white color. Next up in this space, we're replacing the hardware and installing a glass door. I hate shower curtains. And since we went to so much trouble to paint and brighten the space, I'm really thinking a glass door is going to do wonders for opening up this area. Also, since the same tile was used on the floor, I went ahead and primed it when I primed the shower tile. So be sure to subscribe and follow along to see what we do with this space next and to see what we do with that floor. Give you a hint, I'm using a stencil and bringing in the color.